This video is on the MyWay i500 version 2. The difference between the original MyWay i500 version 1, and this is the version 1 right here, um, is minor. The difference you'll see is in the display. Um, the version 1 had an LCD display, and the new version has an LED display, and we'll cover that in a minute. Um, you'll also notice the weigh-in platform has been slightly changed. On the version 1, you had this rim, plastic rim around the edge. So if you did have a spill, um, it wouldn't roll right off the scale. The new design, you'll see it's all stainless, it's a stainless steel top, but all your corners are rounded, and if you had a spill, now it would roll off the scale. Um, my way is very attentive to the design. They even included a little thumbprint here for helping you lift off the weigh-in platform. Um, these are just minor changes, but it just shows you how meticulous the designers are at my way. So you'll see in the older version, it was just smooth altogether. Um, you'll also notice that the keypads have changed slightly. They're a larger keypad altogether. So we just wanted to show you this is the old and this is the new and this is what we're selling. We are Precision Way and Balances and we are an authorized MyWay dealer. You can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com or more information about this i500. The i500 is a portable, affordable, compact digital scale. Uh, this scale is made in China, no different than comparable models like the A&D HL400, the AHO CS200, Atom Equipment Dune Scale, or even the AHO Stout SP401. The i500 offers enhanced features like the stainless steel platform, a nicer display, and a longer warranty at a lower price. Um, when people call us looking for a low-cost digital scale weighing up to 500 grams with readability to a tenth of a gram, the MyWay i500 is always the choice. Uses for this particular scale might be for weighing Pinewood Derby cars. The scale does weigh in grams, also in ounces. So Pinewood Derby people want to weigh their cars in, cars in ounces. Um, also for mitts and adhesives or any general weighing application that just needs a tenth of a gram readability. There are a lot of other brand digital scales on the market trying to compete with my way and really nothing compares to the performance that you get. They use a true 5,000 division um, strain gauge. Um, the electronics incorporate an integrated thermistor circuit that compensates for temperature changes on the load cell, and they also have auto zero tracking to ensure stability. You'll notice there's a stability indicator here in the upper left hand corner. If you don't understand these electronic and circuit theory points, what we're just trying to highlight is my way did not cut any corners in building this amazing low cost digital scale. And they do this from the tremendous volume. My way really commands the marketplace when it comes to affordable low cost digital scales. The new version again has a reverse LED display. So you'll see this display. Put some more weight on so we can. Oops, we actually, this is a 500 gram capacity and that was a 500 gram weight so you can see overload. So you can see the display. Um, it's easy to see. It's three quarters of an inch in height. Makes it easy to read from a distance even when lighting isn't the greatest. Again, the older version had that liquid crystal display. The version 2 has the same size platform. It's uh, 5.8 inches by 5.8 inches to give you some perspective. Here's a standard DVD. 
and you can see you can fit that right on the platform. You'll notice there's a way guide here on the corner of the left hand corner of the display and as we put additional weight on the platform this way guide increases and this is giving you a visual on how much capacity of the scale you have used. Um, this is really used especially if you're tearing out an item. So we have this DVD on here right now and it weighs 102.6 grams. If we press the zero key, this tears out the weight of the DVD and we put on, we'll say, 300 grams. We'll now see how much we have left using that weigh guide. And you don't want to overload the scale. Um, you could damage the load cell. If you do, you'll see an error like such. That's overload, and you don't want to do that. Um, the scale comes standard with an AC adapter. Other manufacturers charge you for the adapter. With my way, they include it standard. It also is powered by six AA batteries. Batteries are not included. But again, other brands, um, the AC adapter sometimes is an optional accessory and a very pricey optional accessory. I know with the um, A and D HL series, they do not include the AC adapter. There is no adjustable feet. This, you'll just see four little feet pads here. And again, for this price category scale, um, none of the manufacturers really include the adjustable feet. Um, the i500 also has a auto shutoff function. This enables you to um, conserve battery power. If the scale's not in use for 90 seconds, the scale will automatically shut off. If you look at the LCD display in the upper corner here, right hand side, you'll see it says A off. That means that the auto shut off is enabled. So the scale would automatically shut off after 90 seconds of no use. Uh, my way, they allow you to go in and configure the scale so you can disable the auto off. And many brands don't allow this. So this is another enhanced feature that my way offers. To disable the auto off, all one simply needs to do is press and hold the zero key while pressing the on key. And the display will show A on and A and then we can all you need to do is simply press the zero key and you have A off. So if you wanted to shut off the auto off function you would leave it as A off to confirm the setting all one simply needs to do is power down the scale and when we power back up the scale the scale as you can see is doing the countdown you'll now notice on the display the A off is now disabled so now the scale will always stay on um, and again this is a feature many people don't like the auto shut off function because all of a sudden your scale shuts off Calibration is simple. It does require a 500 gram weight. Um, we'll make a separate video covering calibration. Um, so please check our YouTube channel for that. Um, weigh units. I want to cover the weigh units. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can change the weigh units. and I need to tilt the scale just so you can see the display. But in the lower corner here, all the weigh units. Um, will illuminate whichever one you're using. So you'll see right here we have G. All one simply needs to do is press the M key and now we're in ounces. And we press the M key again, mode key, we're in pounds. Press the M key again, this is troy ounces. DWP, DWT, this is penny weight. And then we have carrots, grains, piece count, and we're back to grams. One thing I wanted to show you about the My Way scale is if we have the scale in ounces and we were to shut off the scale, when I shut off the scale and I power it back up, 
the scale will power back up in the last weigh mode used. So you'll see here, the scale powers up in ounces. Many scales on the marketplace, they always default back to grams. And so this is a nice feature um, so to eliminate errors. So if the last weigh mode, weigh mode that was used was, we'll say, ounces, um, and it was the end of the day, and your employee shut off the scale. When he comes back to work, he turns the scale on, it would be back in ounces. Again, other brands, you turn it on, you'd be in grams, and they'd be weighing in the wrong weigh mode. Um, we have several other YouTube videos we'll be making on this scale about parts counting and again calibration. Again, um, just briefly, I wanted to also show you the performance of this scale in regards to how well it performs, the response time, um, the eccentric loading, that's where you put a calibration weight in each corner of the scale. And you'll see in all four corners, the scale is right on the money. Truly amazing scale for the price that you're paying. Again, um, if you wanted to tear something out, you'd put a weigh dish on. Again, just simply hit the Z button here to zero it out. And then if you wanted to weigh just the substance that you put it on the scale, and it gives you an idea the performance. So we are Precision Way and Balances. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel or giving us a thumbs up. Visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. Thank you.